This one's a great one. I, I, I love this exercise. This one's great. This one. Sorry. Dude, you suck, man. It's tough right there. You're saying, come on. Dude, you're making a video here. Then go backwards, it gets really tough. It's fucking horrible. <laughs> yeah, uh, excuse me here. I'll, I'll try to do it better this time. Dude, you suck, man. <laughs> Had it. It's like you try to make it a drinking game. <laughs> One more time. Third time's a charm. Oh, you fucked up. Dude, you suck, man. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Damn, this is a really tough drinking game. You shouldn't make guitar exercises into drinking games. Uh, anyhow, that, that's a good one. <laughs> I found that this this guitar exercise kind of does it all, kind of covers it all. Um, and to me, it's still a guitar exercise. It, it's still very difficult. I try to take it slow. I take it very seriously. Um, and that that's to me, that's what exercise really should be. There's a time where you're going to outgrow the, the spider skill. It's a monochronic skill. Yeah. Uh, there's a point where it's redundant and you're just going to make mistakes because you're just going to get bored. <laughs> um, that, that second exercise I showed, <laughs> awesome. That, that to me, I, I think it's like the best when it comes to finger independence um, and altered, like picking, picking and jumping a string. I fucking hate picks. But, but I'm, I'm doing it for y'all. I know how you love that pick. Anyhow, it's based around the major scale, so we're going to start with C up here, C up here, so we want to be on the, is that the, is it, it's eight, eighth fret, eighth fret, um, and then you're going to look from the eighth to the twelfth, so the twelfth fret is going to be your pinky, and the tenth fret is going to be your your middle finger. All the shifting's going to be happening with your index finger. So, and the first pattern is basically, you know, is it's. Easy enough, right? Top three strings. If you think of it as one, two, three, four, five, one through five. scale but it's the um, not not the the typical pattern we're going to use the like I don't know what they call this it's just you know you're using like an extension off of the first pattern anyhow um, I, I digress you're saying come on um, we're, we're using the pattern that covers Five frets instead of four, so it's it's the same major scale. Where am I here? Right there. That extension. It's it's, it's a simple pattern. It's one, three, five, one, three, five, two, three, five, two, three, five, three. Five, six, three, five, six. If you look at it as a tab with this the C root starting as one. 
So C sharp, D sharp, E, F. Alright, so 12th fret, so we're starting all over again. So 1, 3, 5, 1, 3, 5, 2, 3, 5, 2, 3, 5, 3, 5, 6, 3, 5, 6. Okay? Just. I would practice that first just so you got the pattern down if you don't know that uh, pattern for the major scale. Um, so we're going one, three, five, the top three strings. We're just jumping this down. So everything's jumping down a string. One. And then now the pinky is going to take the lead by jumping up to five on the A string. And then you're coming back here, dropping that down from there, but you're pulling it back in if you want to stay in that major scale. So, and then this is going to drop down one set of strings, but your ring, your it, uh, index finger is going to go back and do that five, three, one position. It's almost like a mirror of what you did at top. And this drops down one more time. So it's it what it does, it takes your fingers and it forces them to go from here to here. <laughs> Which is that's that's what that's what we're trying to do. That is the basic exercise that that we're going for. And what that is doing is that finger independence, why the pinky and the your your ring are so hard to separate from each other, why like the pinky wants to move like that, you know, with your index, and uh, it's these these two are connected. These last fingers are connected, and your your tendons over here, and it's like it's everything's kind of bunched up in here, and you're. Your pinky tendon just is it's kind of wrapped around in with your ring. And we're really trying to work on what's happening here in our wrist, not what's happening up here in our fingers. It's what's going on in our wrists. If you look at your wrist and you start pulling your fingers one by one, you can see as I pull my pinky. It's like wrapped over. It comes back towards the index. And then the ring finger is like going straight down. And then my middle finger is going straight down. And then my, my, um, I'm sorry, my middle finger is going straight. My index pointer finger is kind of curving over here. So it's like your outer fingers, think of it, it's like, you know, you're trying to stuff this wide area, all of a sudden it's got the strut. So what's that gonna affect? It's gonna affect these two fingers, but it affects your pinky way more just because it's a weaker finger. And it gets pulled in. Everything's getting pulled in here. And what we're trying to do is stretch and separate all those tendons and ligaments in here, right in your wrist. So the movement of Pulling your pinky down like that and stretching your index up and then going like that the other way. We're forcing everything to like squeeze and contract but also twist and deform the other way. Basically trying to separate everything down here in your wrist. If you just go like that and take your pinky <laughs> and your index fingers go back and forth. And notice, see, it's, you see how your, my index is connected to my middle? It's the same, it's a mirror between the split of your hand. It's just that we feel it more on our pinky because it's our weakest finger, where these are the fingers we use more, most for everything, writing, eating, that. These are our strongest fingers and longest fingers, except for me, I'm a freak, I got the longer ring finger. Um, so, we separate this just through daily life. We don't separate this through daily life. This has to come through practice. So you just, it's, it's really 
all in here. It's all in your wrist because you're trying to loosen all that up in here. So when you look at that finger exercise, and it doesn't have to be what I just showed you, you just think of the basic premise of you want to take your, go from basically your index being up here on the top string and your pinky on the bottom, and then your pinky on the top string and your index towards the bottom. Even something like that, which would be a more complex exercise, but I'm just kind of bringing that in stages. And the whole premise of the exercise is the slow shift into that. So it's a shift that, and also a stretch out. And the stretch, the be stretch begins in the beginning. And then you squeeze in the shift, and then out. So, yeah, I know it's a long ass video. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I, and I played that finger exercise pretty poorly. Let me, let me do that again for you. Told you it was hard, man. <gasps> yeah, that's, that's what exercise is. You just work. You gotta work at it. Probably you just like pick up a Fender Stratocaster and turn to a rock star because you held it. It's neon green with stars on it, and this cool like unicorn sticker on the back, and it's on the back because you, you don't want like I want to know that you like unicorns, and, and that's what gives it its magic powers, and that's what makes you a rock star. Where, where you, you got it from? Who? D does he have any more? I wasn't C. Where's C? Where are you? Where are you, you sneaky little? Yeah, there you are. Sorry, messed up. Sorry, let me try again. Messed up again. Dude, you suck, man. <laughs> and you should do this slow. The whole and it, it doesn't help to do this fast because and yeah, I'm, I'm breaking my own rule by going fast because what we really want to be doing is letting the notes ring out sustain and holding that position and that's the stretch in the exercise. Sorry, that's the most important part of this. <laughs> you need to let the notes ring out. There's no, it's not that. That's really critical part of this finger exercise. It's not that, it's holding the notes to sustain. It's my pick, sorry. Okay, look, this is, this is the finger exercise. <laughs> You really need to stop drinking and making these videos. Backwards this time. ago. I guess I'm warming up now. <laughs> parts of the neck to, to this, do this exercise on. Drop down a few frets, it gets it gets a lot tougher. I mean, you can go step by step, and that, that would be the best way to do it. I like to rock. So, like, you know, dro dropping down to A. And then, like, you really went really crazy. Do, try to do it in F. You know, try to do the F major scale. I can't even do it. That, that's a Wilt Chamberlain level there stuff. Hey, hey, watch me play the F major scale again. That was cool, right? I'll play it backwards too. Dude, you suck, man. <laughs> 